Chito Ferradan is here for another collaboration with Lucas Pfaff. Yes, the same guy of the anamorphic mumps corrector. Today, we're going to be making a 3D printed front clamp for almost any anamorphic. And to do that, we're going to combine a 3D printed part, which I'm going to show you how to make, and a step ring that you can get anywhere for cheap. You're going to need a step ring slightly bigger than your anamorphic front glass, a 3D printer, your anamorphic, and a caliper. We're going to start by measuring the front diameter of the anamorphic. For this dialyscope, I got 77.9 millimeters. Now I'm going to get my step ring. In this case, a 72 to 77 fits nicely over the front element. The outer diameter of the ring is 79.6 millimeters and its height is 5.5 millimeters. Now I'm going to Autodesk's Fusion 360 and making a clamp by using all these numbers. Fusion is pretty easy to use. And you can also use any 3D modeling software you feel more comfortable with. I'll start with a sketch that uses most of the values I got from the dialyscope and ring. I'll create a circle with the overall outer diameter of the clamp, which is 88 millimeters for this one. Inside this circle, I'm creating another circle with the outer diameter of the step ring, 79.6 millimeters. And then a third circle inside, which uses the diameter of the dialyscope. 77.9 millimeters. Lastly, I'm adding a fourth circle with the diameter of the smaller threads of the step ring. From here, I'll start extruding the front of the clamp with the partial height for the step ring, which is 4.5 millimeters. And then I'll select the circle that has the dialyscope diameter and extrude it in the opposite direction for 13.5 millimeters, which is enough overlap over the lens. As an option, you can chop the rear threads of the step ring and make it more compact, which will very likely reduce vignetting. I'm doing a different solution for this video though. If you don't have the tools to do so, just take into account the ring's rear threads when designing the clamp, which is what I'm doing now. I'm using the circle with a step ring small diameter to create a little ledge, which will house those threads safely and prevent the anamorphic from pushing the ring out. Export this as an STL file and print it. Fit the step ring in and it should be tight. Uh, if it's too tight, you can use a blow dryer to expand the 3D print and then slot the ring into place. And the same goes for the anamorphic. It's the tightness that makes it secure. All right, that was cheap and easy enough. And do you feel comfortable trusting your diopters with something that you made yourself? Or would you be more at ease using a traditional clamp like the ones made by Rapido or Redstan? Also, you can always add a nylon screw to the side of this one to lock it more secure like Lucas shows in this clip. If you like this tutorial and this saved you time and money, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm always coming up with new solutions to make anamorphic shooting more accessible. And if you got any questions, shoot them in the comments below. Plus, the file that I made for this video is available in the description along with other useful uh, links. I'm Chitu Fahadangs and I'll see you next week.